How many of you have a website? Whether it's a blog, an e-commerce site, an online business? If you're not tweaking or changing your website continuously, you're probably leaving a lot of money on the table. Thank you, Mr. Toastmaster. Welcome Toastmasters and honored guests. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about optimization. Optimization is a process of you improving your online business to make more money. Many people know this process as SEO or improving your traffic to your website. There, but there are many different kinds of optimization. There's, as I said, SEO, which is search engine optimization, which is improving website traffic and your search engine rankings. But there's also conversion rate optimization, CRO, which specifically allows you to improve your leads and your sales. There's also web analytics and web advertising. Or you can be optimizing your social media or your e-commerce strategies. Optimizing all those tactics online is what I call optimization. Imp implementing a marketing optimization process will allow you to, one, predict the future of the success of your marketing campaigns, or two, get compound results and achieve a lot over a shorter period of time. Let's break down marketing optimization a little bit further. Marketing, you guys all know what marketing is. It's moving goods from a producer to a consumer. It's just the process or technique of promoting, selling, or distributing your product or service. Optimization is all about the process of making something as effective as possible. So marketing optimization is just moving those goods from a producer to a consumer and making it as effective as possible. Now, I'm super passionate about this space in online business, helping people make more money from their website. So I created a podcast, which is an internet radio show all about marketing optimization. During my podcast, I asked digital experts what their definition of optimization is. And Neil Patel of Quicksprout said his optimization process is all about tweaking. How can you squeeze more people through that online sales funnel? For example, if you have 100 window shoppers, but only one buyer, that would be a 1% conversion rate. If you can convince 10 more people to buy, that's like 10 times the revenue. That's what optimization is all about. Also, Pep Laya, a famous blogger from Conversion XL, said optimization is just about doing stuff better. Whatever you want to do right now, if you're trying to sell stuff, optimization will help you do it better. Why should you optimize your website? I mean, why are you in business? Optimization is all about moving the needle. I also asked an email marketing expert about what my optimization means. And he gave John McIntyre, and he gave me a quote from Albert Einstein. He said, good old Albert said something like, the most powerful force in the universe is compound improvements. Now, what Albert Einstein really said was compound interest is the eighth wonder of the world. He who understands it, earns it. He who doesn't, pays it. My definition of optimization really is the iterative process of discovering opportunities, executing experiments, and scaling those results to help online businesses make more money. Now, I've taken this process and turn it into three phases to complete your optimization process. There's the discovery phase, the execution phase, and the scaling phase. In the discovery phase, you have to really investigate and find opportunities. During, during that process, you define what the goals of the online business are. In e-commerce, you may want sales. In a, in a blog or a great website, you may want leads. If you are an advertising campaign, you want conversions. But in the discovery phase, you really need to investigate. You need to put on your Columbo hat. Remember that old, that old TV series, Columbo? Become an investigator about your website and really figure out where there's opportunity to improve your sales even further. Next, there's the execution phase. After we've discovered our goals and understand a plan to create a hypothesis to improve our conversions, we now need to execute that. We can, you can do that through different tools or different software, but overall it involves planning out your website and understanding how to improve your conversions even further. 
we also do um, testing during the, this process of execution where we split test different versions of different websites to figure out which one is actually making the clients more money. These are all just execution tactics in the marketing optimization pro process. Lastly, there's the scaling process. After you've dis discovered the opportunities and now you've executed some of the designs and tests, you now need to scale. You need to review and grow. Review the results of the tests that you've experimented with in this marketing optimization process and now be able to scale and grow them. In conclusion, there's two takeaways that I want you guys really to remember. Optimization will allow you to really predict the future of your marketing campaigns. This will allow you to really understand your visitors better and turn them into customers. And lastly, optimization will allow you to maximize your profit. It will get you those compound results because if you're able to achieve a lot more over a shorter period of time and actually fail faster, you'll achieve a lot more over a year. A year. Now, optimization can not only play into your web online marketing strategies, but you guys all there out there as entrepreneurs, you can be optimizing any part of your life. You can be optimizing your, your speaking campaigns. Like for me, I originally had a, a different, um, I originally had a different speech in, pl in place, but I decided to do this one instead because I'm, I'm a little bit more passionate about it. And that allowed me to optimize my engagement with you tonight. And if you have any questions, please let me know. I'll be around after the talk. Thank you.